respected members in the panel, uh, dear friends. Uh, well, the background has been set. Uh, Mr. Balakrishnan explained what financial inclusion is all about. Uh, we also got to know the few products which are available in the market for financial inclusion. We also heard about the technology which is involved in disseminating these products for financial inclusion. What I'm going to touch, about, uh, touch upon today is, with all this in place, how do we actually deliver financial inclusion to people who are excluded, right? So that's, uh, although I have slides on all the other aspects, but I'll, I'll probably touch upon this aspect where you'll have a view of how is it been done, uh, what are the results like, and uh, are people, people actually benefiting uh, out of uh, financial inclusion? Okay, and uh, I'll just start with uh, um, our organization. It's, nice, uh, it's ISEC, and it's primarily into education, training, e-governance in uh, semi-urban and uh, rural India. We have about uh, 8,000 centers across the country providing various services, uh, and we have 6,000 common service centers, which uh, we just spoke about, like in uh, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, and uh, Punjab. Okay, these are the various uh, products and services uh, that we offer. I'm not going to dwell upon uh, each of them right now. And uh, these are some of the awards that we've uh, received in the recent past. And of course, most importantly, we won the E-India Financial Inclusion Award yesterday, and I'm proud to say that. Uh, okay, getting into a financial inclusion, uh, I'm not going to discuss each of these points, but I have highlighted some of the points that I want you to look upon, which is, you know, half of the country is unbanked, 55% of the population have deposit accounts. The rest of them have no clue about, uh, uh, about bank accounts. About one bank for 14,000 people. So you can imagine how bad the situation is uh, in the country. And uh, out of the six lakh villages which are currently uh, there, about 33,400 odd are uh, included using the RRBs. Now, these are some of the figures. Uh, I don't need to explain them. It's obvious we all know the fact that we have a problem in the country for financial inclusion. So who are the people who are excluded? Uh, Mr. Balakrishnan has explained it, so I'm just going to run through this again. It's obvious. And uh, there have been steps taken. Now, the good, good part about our uh, country is that we all look to include the excluded. And that's the whole reason why we are all here. That's the reason you're sitting here. That's the reason I'm speaking here, right? So there have been uh, a lot of initiatives taken, cooperative movements. Uh, State Bank of India was set up, and they had uh, taken a big step towards financial inclusion. Uh, RRB is being set up, self-help groups getting into the uh, area of financial inclusion. And, and it's not come without problems. There have been problems in the past uh, years that we've been implementing financial inclusion, the problems of technology, these are problems which existed in the past, but I'm happy to tell you that today most problems are, uh, are uh, I should say, the problems are vanishing and we are moving ahead uh, to include the excluded in the country. Okay, so uh, as on today, a lot of initiatives have been taken. Business correspondent is one such activity which has been taken across the country where uh, uh, a model has been evolved over time and it's... If it's an effective way of including the excluded uh, in the country. About, uh, uh, you know, the banks have also taken initiative. JNK Bank just mentioned about their initiative of how they have uh, increased the number of branches as well. They are also an SCA service, uh, and they also provide the CSC support uh, to help the people in the villages uh, get included in the financial inclusion space. And there are regulations which have come across as well. RBI has uh, come across some new regulations where they've said that the KYC document, which is uh, stringent for urban population, need not be there for rural population. They have reduced the documentation process. All of these regulations in totality have made possible financial inclusion in India. And of course, uh, not to say that there are no challenges. The challenges still exist. And... Uh, and they will continue to exist. The question is, how do we overcome these challenges and implement uh, the financial inclusion model across the country? Okay, now I'm going to talk about in the next few slides what we've done uh, in the area of financial inclusion. Uh, some, of the, uh, some of the areas that we've touched upon is business correspondence, business facilitators. We've uh, tried to bring in insurance services for uh, 
the uh, villages across the country. We've also brought in remittance kiosks for the urban uh, population who are excluded financially so that they can send money home to their rural uh, counterparts in the villages. We've also brought in a mobile van banking where the mobile va uh, van moves from villages, village to village and provides uh, banking support to people in these villages. Now, uh, next few slides I'll give you some snapshots to give you a view of what these kiosks look like. Uh, these are our uh, common service center uh, kiosks where banking uh, services are uh, being delivered. Now the idea of uh, bringing in business correspondence in various villages is, uh, is to give you a simile. You obviously have the luxury of going into an ATM in any part of the country in the city of course to withdraw, uh, withdraw cash, right? Now unfortunately in the villages uh, where the population is very low, it doesn't make financial sense for a bank to set up a branch or for a bank to set up an ATM kiosk. And that's where we bring in our business correspondence where they help the people in the village uh, to set up accounts, they help people in the village to deposit cash, to withdraw cash and do all banking uh, services, whatever they need in that area. So these are the snapshot of those uh, kiosks which gives the, uh, be, the uh, banking facilities for the villages. And this is the uh, a photograph of the van that I just spoke about which goes from village to village providing uh, opening accounts and uh, providing banking services uh, on, on, uh, and on the wheel. Abhishek, one more minute. Yeah, sure. So, uh, in the last minute, all I want to do is uh, conclude with some hard facts that we've seen. Uh, we have about 440 odd uh, kiosks that we've installed. 310 of them are uh, active. And you'd be surprised to see the figure we've we have about 2,70,000 people who uh, they are all obviously from the villages across the country and they have opened new accounts uh, with us and uh, a total transaction of about 62 crores uh, in, in the last, in this financial year and uh, about 81 crores in just over a year is what we have achieved. Uh, and uh, the, the people who are doing this activity, the uh, business correspondents, to give you a view of who's earning money. There are people earning money out of this as well. And this is the amount of money that they earn. This is for the uh, financial year 2011. And uh, I'm happy to tell you that the business correspondents are also happy to serve the people in the villages. So the financial inclusion will work if all of these uh, individual components come together and they all work together. The technology part of it, the, the product providers, the banks, and of course the last mile delivery which is the business correspondence. Uh, to conclude uh, is, uh, you know, all I want to say is that it, for us it's a, it's a resounding success that we've been able to include so many people into the, uh, you know, the uh, world of uh, financial services and uh, we are striving to continue to, uh, to continue this activity in the future as well and uh, there are many such uh, players in the market today and we are all hoping that one fine day uh, we will include uh, as many people as possible in the country uh, in the area of financial services and I'm hoping that uh, we'll get your uh, support as well and, and uh, last but not the least financial inclusion uh, if executed well is definitely a reality in the country and I'm hoping that uh, one day we'll all uh, stand up and say that you know, we've, uh, we've achieved that uh, target. Thank you.